The U.S. Supreme Court is facing increased pressure to weigh in on Donald Trump's eligibility to run for president again. Now that a second state has disqualified him from appearing on its Republican presidential primary ballot. We fight like hell. And if you don't fight like hell, you're not going to have a country anymore. We're going to the Capitol. Maine has joined Colorado, kicking Trump, the leading Republican candidate, off the 2024 ballot under a part of the U.S. Constitution that prevents insurrectionists from holding office. The dispute arising, well, was this an insurrection? Did this conduct from government officials and the speeches that they gave sort of rise to the level of engaging in insurrection and where we find ourselves today interpreting this provision of the Constitution that just hasn't had a whole lot of use in American history. The Colorado Republican Party has already asked the Supreme Court to quickly review and reverse the state's decision. And Trump is expected to do the same next week. But it will be up to the justices to decide whether to take the case. The nation's top court, with a 6-3 to three conservative majority, features three justices chosen by Trump. According to polls, Americans' approval of the court and trust in it remain low. The challenges to Trump's candidacy come as he faces criminal charges in federal court in D.C. and state court in Georgia for his alleged attempts to overturn the 2020 election. The charges include defrauding the United States in racketeering, but not insurrection. Donald Trump has neither been charged nor convicted of insurrection. So in light of that, uh, using it as a reason to dismiss Donald Trump from the Colorado ballot was certainly premature. Colorado state officials previously set a deadline of next week for the state to print its primary ballots. And both decisions in Colorado and Maine have been temporarily put on hold while appeals are underway. I think the fact that the Colorado Supreme Court has stayed its decision until January 4th and will let him appear on the ballot even after that, uh, if there's an appeal pending, means that he probably will, will be on the ballot and will let this uh, play out over the next several weeks. Karen Seolin, City News.